What up my freaks, Rowena Sensei here with part 35 of my Baldur's Gate 3 Dark Urge Oathbreaker playthrough. Sorry about the delay on this one, I wanted to get it out yesterday, but uh, well apparently I have terrible time management skills and uh, I didn't quite have the time to record it. Um, but anyway, here we are and we are continuing through the gauntlet of Shar. Looks like we're still in the beginning of it after that weird little puzzle in the center, which apparently I kind of accidentally d uh, our way through and didn't actually have to solve it because it kind of solved itself. Not that I understood how it did wherein we were able to go past that force field. Anyway, uh, as promised I went ahead and deleted or deleted uh, organized the inventory including about 1500 gold worth of incense which was quite a bit. Well I guess incense and bones and uh, other such loot that we picked up in here but it's been fairly lucrative in incense and bones so I'm hardly complaining. Anyway we are standing atop a mushroom ready to head down to another area or another part of this. I see a chest down there and a door as well though it's kind of hard to tell whether it's actually an interactable door or whether it's just for decoration as that also is a possibility. Uh, before we go down there there's a couple of things that I have been wanting to try so we're gonna try them now. Uh, first of all Lazelle. Uh, now that she has the hunting short bow, I'm gonna give her the circlet of hunting that we got. Yes, this means she loses the 17 intelligence out of the warped headband of intellect, but let's face it, we're not really using the intellect, and yes, it's nice to have the intelligence buffs or intelligence checks all at plus 7, um, but I suppose if we run into one that we really need to try, we could just pre-equip the warped headband and then do it. So we'll try that. Now the circlet should combine hopefully with the hunter's mark to deal additional damage. Speaking of additional damage, I've been also wanting to try that uh, Kuotoa spear if I remember where it is. Or one of the Kuotoa spears, we have two. And so we're going to try that instead, especially as it's been suggested. Granted, we can't really use it as effectively in melee as the big old pike, I believe. As the pike does more damage, at least in melee. But let's face it, most of the time, Lazelle is uh, doing this in... Uh, uh, in range. I also noticed that we have the pike bound. We should rebind this thing instead. And I also also just realized that Lazelle is not constant. Well, I guess she'll be concentrating on Hunter's Mark. I was about to say we should recast Magic Weapon, but we wouldn't even have the uh, level 2 spell slot anyway. Anyway, anyway. Now this thing is now bound, and if we want to re-equip the returning pike, all we have to do is throw it, and it'll re-equip itself. This, uh, this thing looks somewhere between silly and awesome. Which I guess is kind of on theme for D&D uh, &D in general, so, yeah, works for me. Uh, we'll see if this works with the Hunter's Mark and the Circlet of Hunting, etc, etc, etc. And if it does, and it may even make me consider getting a, a little bit of a Warlock dip just to be able to get Hex, or maybe the Magic Initiate Warlock for Hex, I, though I don't know if you'll be able to cast it multiple times, we'll see. Also, was there anything we wanted to do with these rings while we're here? Well, the Risky Ring should go on Astarian or Lazel with Sharpshooter or with uh, uh, or with Heavy Weapon Mastery, but mm, right now... I mean, we could take the Shadow Cloaked Ring from her, I guess. Um, but Heavy Weapon Mastery isn't going to help with the Lightning Jabber all that much anyway. Yeah, you know what, I think we'll keep it until Astarian levels up one more time and gets his, uh, and gets his Sharpshooter. Right now it feels like it's probably not worth it to counteract nothing, because his chance to hit is already reasonably high. Ring of Mind Shield, and I think the rest is fine. There's also the Marksmanship hat to consider, but I'm not sure that it's better than the, uh, than the Grim Skull Helm with that attackers can't land crits thing, which is just swell. Anyway, looks like we're good. Let's uh, let's get going, shall we? All right, jump across. And there's a Cragged Rock down Keep here. Going. Let's double check that there isn't something buried here, or there's another path. To ah, reception successful. A cloaker ambushing? How dare you? Uh, that is tremendously rude. Well, I what are you exactly? An aberration. Interesting. And it's kind of evil little uh, centipede bat, manta ray thing. 
Yeah, looks kind of neat. Uh, light sensitivity, multi-attack, and opportunity attack. Well, we're not going to allow ourselves to get ambushed since we've spotted it here. I was thinking that there might be like a diggy hole up here, but this also works. Uh, who, who succeeded that check, by the way? Uh, Wallach himself. All right, good job, Wallach. She had a hard critical fail. Okay, well, I guess we'll start this off, and if anybody's gonna start... Oh! Hmm, actually, in this one instance, we would be better throwing the returning pike, wouldn't we? Because of the crushing damage that it does, as opposed to the lightning jabber, which does not do bonus crushing damage. I think. Will it matter? I don't know, but you're gonna throw it now. Uh, throw a weapon at you. <laughs> Let's hope this all works out. Away we go. Too dark. Who cares? Alright, so that did... It is not moving. And it just healed to full. Huh. Well, it's not surprised now. <laughs> Try that again. I, are we too far and it just completely doesn't react? What do you mean stealth successful? I'm not trying to stealth you, man. <laughs> Try it. Try this thing then. And critical miss, and the critical miss is what uh, starts the battle. Okay, that was bizarre. <laughs> but at least we didn't get ambushed. Alright, Lazel. You threw the lightning jabber and the returning pike. Alright, so what I want to see is how that worked out. Huh. Wait. Lightning jabber hit Cloaker for 9 lightning damage, even though the miss happened? Well, that's interesting. Yeah, so we did get three and six bonus bludgeoning damage from the... No, wait, that's Tavern Brawl. Wait, this is both Tavern Brawler. I was going to say Tavern Brawler twice. I think it's just miss... I think this actually isn't Tavern Brawler. It's crushing damage from the uh, uh, from the high ground or whatever. Hmm. This, I'm not sure I understand. If we missed, how could it have hit for 9 lightning damage? Alright, well, we're gonna have to experiment with this a little bit more. Historian, it's your turn, bud. Away you, go. away you go. Don't let that thing ambush us. And fire away. Alright, I also gotta remember we should probably long rest fairly shortly, as we haven't short rested or long rested in quite a while. Astarian has all his spell slots, but he doesn't use them for anything. So, yeah. I believe that's it for you. Behold, and Wallach, death. you could jump down. No, you'll prone yourself. Huh. Okay, well, I guess all we can do is hope that we kill it from range. Alright, you. Divine Strike Radiant. Try to hit it. 90%. Ain't bad. Oh. Did you just critical fail the check and then critical miss your 90% into it? What are you doing today, Shadowheart? Uh, it's gonna be that kind of day for you, isn't it? Divine Strike Radiant, please. Alright, at least we got 11 damage there. And you can go back into the center of this and turn. Wallach. Uh, we could either range attack twice at 56. Oh, well, I guess we can hex first either way. Uh, reapply hex. Your target too far? Oh, no. Even from here? Yeah, it's just a little bit too far. Okay, well, that's a shame. Uh, 80% on um, Eldritch Blast. All right, I guess we'll do the Eldritch Blast then. I'm not going to kill it, obviously, but eh, 14 damage. Not like we had anything else we could have done here, at least that I can think of. All right, Cloaker, you're going to come towards us, and you're going to do what? You are going to do nothing because you're ambushed. No, wait, it wasn't that, or, or was it? I don't know. Well, it's dead now. Either way, you check your uh, check your lightning jabber this time, would you? In my best interest. All right. So, how much damage did that thing do? So it continued doing the lightning damage. The piercing damage would be on par. It it's still registered bludgeoning damage twice. Is this thing have enough weight to actually crush things as well? One point three five. I would imagine it's less crushing damage than the 8.1 of the returning play. Crushing damage presumably is due to... Uh, she goes my damage roll 2, 1d4, because she goes mine plus 3. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure how it's working. Alright, so this is 23, 5, and 3, for example. And this is 11, 17... Seven and five, so it's doing an extra instance due to the lightning damage, which we are aware of. And that it wasn't doing with the returning pike. Man, I was expecting a lot less crushing damage, but I guess this could have been a high roll. 
don't know. We'll, we'll keep testing it, see how it goes. I'd also be interested to see what would happen if we equipped a shield with this, because this is a spear. Hmm. Yeah. Well, we'll give it a two, we'll give it some testing. Uh, I wonder if that was the only thing down there. It only had 136 HP, so it feels like it's a little bit too weak to have been alone. Hmm, let's find out. Uh, wait, then again, if it wasn't alone, we probably would have seen whatever was out there. Anyway, let's keep looking for diggy holes while we run around. Damn, this looks like a diggy hole place. Iron Dragon Egg Mushroom. We'll go up this way as well. In fact, we should go up that way first. Oh, you're already going. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Fine. <laughs> uh, not seeing anything. It was just the one thing guarding the chest. All right. And it had nothing on it. Okay. Uh, G. Nope. I pressed something else. G. I just want to see if there's anything up here. I doubt that there's a diggy hole in the mushroom, but you never know. All right, try this mushroom. I guess this is just for fighting it. Otherwise, it doesn't feel like there's a good reason for these mushrooms to be here. Hmm, could it be to get on top of that? No, I don't think so. No way to climb, no roots. This place feels like it would have a lot of, well, puzzles, because we already had some puzzles, so I just keep thinking, hmm, missing something, but I don't see anything. Well, if there's something, I missed it. Let's go with that. Alright, wallet come down and let's get that chest. Oh, I see a dead guy beside it. Uh, I wonder if it's trapped. No, no checks. And the dead guy has nothing on it. And uh, gilded chest, we get a elixir of viciousness and an elixir of arcane cultivation. And some money and stuff. At least something. And it doesn't look like there's anything else here. Alright, is this an actual door? Yes, indeed, it is an actual door. And it is locked. And but fortunately, we have a star in here with the lock picking capabilities. Oh, I didn't try Lazel's Hunter's Mark. I wanted to see if that works as well. Did we maybe... I mean, I think we still got one more fight in us. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, lock pick this, please. I assume we don't have any key to it. Did I just select Shadowheart for this? Cancel. Actually, funnily enough, because of her gloves of dexterity, she would be decent with lock picking as well if we were ever to need to uh, lose a Sturian. Because once again, I keep thinking that he's the most likely to betray us. Just like Manfred. Alright, and hello. Twerk, you're worth money. Ooh, more stuff. Probably worth money. Hey, another shovel. I remember you. The great shovel incident. Great and terrible. Alright, we got another plaque, another door. We got a side room with a bunch of rats. Ah, oh, okay, interesting, and a little other side room. Alright, let's begin, let's get to looting, shall we? And hopefully more incense, because it was worth quite a lot. Alrighty, okay, that's not incense. I'm gonna separate Wallach as well. Ah, I sort of weird noise off to the side. I wonder what that was. Alright, pot lid, coals, brazier. Interesting that this can be lit up. It's interesting that in the Shar temple, in the Shar, like, main location, fires can actually be lit up, even though everywhere else they can't, you know what I mean? Like, the, the Shadow Curse prevents it everywhere but in the Shar's most holy place. It, it, does, does that seem odd to anybody else? Uh, cleavers, silver plate, mushroom soup. Are we able to take these giant mushrooms? No? Okay. Alright, silver plate and silver plate. Silver plates, I believe, are worth money. Uh, just to double check. Yeah, 20 money apiece. Uh, the- oh! These knives are worth money? Oh no, I haven't been picking up knives and forks under the assumption that they were worth one. But I guess these are like silver ones, damn it. <laughs> uh, alright, well. I promised looting simulator and I'd like to think that I delivered. Honestly, if I were to ever to do another playthrough, I'd probably just steal all the money back and not bother with any looting. <laughs> But in this one, I'm just trying to, you know, do it the uh, the real way, I guess. Alright, and there's a... Oh, I can't reach that bottle. Alright, can we jump up on this little kitchen table? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, take the cleaver. I'm sure you're worth money. And nothing in the bottle rack. Are these spice racks or hanging mushrooms or anything like that? No, it doesn't look like it. Take the plates. They're probably silver as well. Take everything. It's unclear if there's anything actually alive in here, so we've encountered monsters. Graph of water, and I think we're good. Alright. 
Uh, Alright, let's go to the next room. It doesn't actually appear to be anything in this part. What the heck? I do like it down here. Oh, the faces it's are on nice. either side. Oh. This is a dedication to my goddess's power and dark beauty. Homie is not the first word that comes to mind. I don't know, it's kind of homey. Uh, let's see, what does the plaque say? Anything about rats? Feed your bodies and rest your minds. Lady Shah needs her warriors strong and ready. Uh-huh, okay, so we got a lever here. We got some lanterns which are lightable. I'm going to light them up just in case this has something to do with a puzzle. doesn't seem to, but we'll try lighting everything else up. On the other hand, it feels like you should probably unlight everything. Uh, abandoned journal, justicier helmet. Hello. All right, you get. Okay, 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 okay. Just gonna move them all away once again. They always interfere with the looting. Uh, take the abandoned journal. Let's see what this has to say for itself. The handwriting is a hasty, lopsided scrawl. About the pages are blots of ink and what may be smudges of dried blood. Lady Shur continues to preserve me, though escape is impossible. The beast still prowls our halls, though the sounds of battle no longer reach my ears. I fear all my brothers and sisters have fallen in defense of the Night Singer's sacred gauntlet. But I shall wait. The beast will not linger long, surely. A shorter entry, handwriting even more skewered and skewed and erratic. The beast still remains. Why does it not just leave? And why does it sing? The food is gone. I must preserve my strength. The final entry... Entry is barely legible. Drums in the deep. A uh, mistress, embrace me, please. Well, that's depressing. But on the other hand, you're a dark justicier, which are kind of jerks. So, uh, <laughs> uh, all right. And Shadowheart, no reaction to any of that. Okay. I'm gonna light these up, continuing to wonder as to whether that'll do anything, and just light them up in the entire room. Bunch of ruined stuff all over the place. She doesn't like to keep her temple well uh, in good shape. I wonder how ancient this place is, as in how long ago, in terms of timeline, that this thing was built. Alright, what about the rats here? Okay, there's the vases that we looted. Let's try the rats around the altar to Shar. And do we talk to the rats or do we touch this thing? Let's try talking to the rats. Unworthy. Unworthy to walk among friendly bones. Leave! Friendly bones? Are you a, the bones of the Dark Justiciers? Are you a friend of the Dark Justiciers? Huh. Dark Justicier rats? Can rats be Dark Justiciers? Is my question. All right, calm down. What are you talking about? Talking of you, intruder, invader, unworthy one. These halls are not for you. Well, the rats have also been drinking the Kool-Aid, apparently. Uh, back off or I'll be scraping your guts off my heel in a moment. Would we really stoop to threatening the rat? No, I don't think so. Let's try another rat. We outnumber you. Leave me be. They're kind of adorable, <laughs> despite the threats. <laughs> Leave. Oh, no, you go. Unworthy of dark cloak. Unworthy of dark fur. Unworthy. There's something strange about the rat. But what? Something strange about that. Ooh. Animal handling and insight. Okay, now we're not good at those with Wallach, however. Uh, group everybody up. Lazel, come here. Uh, put the warped headband on. And why don't you talk to this rat right here? got be something up with these rats, right? I mean, they're all worshipping at a Shar altar. Aww. <laughs> Animal handling. Observe the rat's behavior. Oh, she doesn't have to speak with the animals. Well, I'll try it anyway. And add bonus. And oh, wait. This is wisdom. It's not intelligence. I could have just done this with Wallach. And well, we'll see if it still works with Wallach afterwards. Well, this works. The rat holds its ground. It almost seems defiant. The rodent needs a lesson of humility. Shoo it away aggressively. Extend a hand to the rat. Show you mean no harm. That's a good way to get your finger bitten. Let's try studying the Naya Rat's appearance. So those appeared after we succeeded on that. Oh, this is a nature check, which is intelligence. So I guess we should have done it with this one. All right. And 26. Very nice. Very nice. The rat has a thick coat and dark staring eyes. Old, but in good health. Old, but in good... Okay, what exactly could we possibly glean from this? The rat is old, but in good health. Is it... What? I mean, and nothing new appeared. 
out of these two, I would say Lazelle would probably shoo the rat. Let's face it. She's not gonna show the rat that she means no harm. This is it's not in her character. You're being held up by a snack. Leave the rodent and let's look around. Hmm. Let's get going. Curious, alright, let's try the other rats. Let's try head rat, perhaps. This is the path of heroes. Your feet sully it. Yeah, they'll do that. And it's the same stuff, but we can actually talk to this rat. Try it, try try this with Wallach as well. Yeah, there's gotta be something up to this. Ah, Wallach's gonna fail. I am not going to use inspiration on to this. Clean anything. What about insight? Just a rat. Did I not use God roll the three? Anyway, guidance wouldn't have helped. Okay, well sorry, there's Wallach. Something amiss, but exactly what eludes. There's something amiss. Even the rats have the good sense to pay homage to Lady Shah. Hmm. Curious. The rats have good sense to pay homage to Lady Shah. Okay, let's try this. Oh wait, did we talk to the other rat? Uh try you. Two legs. Too familiar. Too familiar? You don't know me. Alright, Altar of Shah. Oh, a little mini cutscene, alright. A place of offering to the Dark Lady. May she embrace the entire world. And take everyone's eyes. Alright, uh, religion. Pray at the altar. Oh, it's an intelligence check. Huh. Wait, she said something, even the rats pray to... Hmm, okay, I guess we should maybe... Oh, maybe we do this and then the rats will talk to us. Uh, add bonus, guidance... Ah, uh, don't screw me on this, Wallach. Nine plus... No, that's not gonna work, is it? Alright. I guess we'll use an inspiration for this. I, I wanna see what's up with the rats and this... Since they're worshipping at it, it feels like this would be better. I roll again. And... Do we just use Bardic Inspiration for this? I don't remember how many we have left. But I don't want to waste two... Eh, you know what? We're probably going to long rest shortly. Fine, just do it. This should make it succeed. Yeah, 26. Now it's 26. <laughs> A pleasurable shiver runs down your spine. You feel as if you've unburdened a troubling thought and forgotten it forever. Night Singer's Favor. That's guidance. Uh, affected entity is resistant to necrotic damage until your next long rest. Okay, rat. Join an army became an army. Leave. We we just uh, we just prayed to the gate. Wait, this one was the one that said there was something wrong with it. No, it doesn't say anything new. Hmm. We outnumber you. Damn it! I'm not figuring out the rat puzzle here, guys. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could try to threaten the rats. It just doesn't seem in Wallach's character to threaten the rats. You know what I mean? Hmm. Also, wait, Chadhar, do you get to do this without doing Whatever a check? Offer a prayer and devotion to Dark Lady. Your okay. prayers fade away. Nothing comes to you and re your efforts must be inadequate. You must do more to please Shah going forward. That's interesting. Santi, swear your body and soul to Shah. Give yourself over entirely. Uh... I don't like the sound of that. Give yourself over entirely? What, you're gonna get possessed by Shar or something? You know what, I don't trust that. I am... <laughs> no. Uh, risk averse in this particular situation. I may go back to it if we can't figure out the puzzle of the rats in some other way. Ooh, steal the incense, though. Alright, incense bowl. I think the bowls themselves aren't actually worth anything, but the incense is. Alright, anything else? Rosa books and vases we did. And yeah, that's it. Hmm. Curious. Alright, I may return to this place. Rats. Alrighty. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Alright, Lever. I assume you will allow us through the door. Uh. What did the lever do? Was the door locked before? Wait. Do the lever again. Is there something? But again. What the heck is the lever doing? Hmm. I don't know. 
Feed your bodies and rest Feed your bodies, your blah, blah, blah. Lady I don't think anything's changed. All right, I guess we keep like going for now, but I don't know what the heck was up with that lever. All right, in room number two, silver chalice. All right, looks like more stuff to loot. And start it up. You prowl my battleground. Ooh. Why? Are you friend, foe, thieving scavenger? You find yourself in a dead, putrid skull, somehow hosting a tadpole amongst a squirm of maggots. Oh my. Another presence lurks within, manipulating the corpse like a puppet. Ah, a friend. An uninvited friend. I do not request help. Oh, oh, it's Balthazar. I get I was very confused there for a moment. Alrighty, uh, well, I guess... I guess we just say who am I really speaking to. Come join me and find out. I want to look at you with my own eyes. Yeah, because he started speaking us through those, uh, those, uh... What were they? Like the little holes with the skulls in them at the start of the thing? The quakes herald the shadows. It seems odd to hear a skeleton panic. I mean, I, I, I understand how it's a puppet, but... <laughs> it made the skeleton look sad there for a second. Also, what the heck is that? Why is a black hole opening up in the middle of the floor? Hello. Oh, it's another, uh, it's another one of those dudes that we fought in the uh, in that little mini Shar temple. That little underground Shar place. And what the heck are these things? Trespasser. Merkel's fat lapdog. Aren't you undead? Dark Justiciar undead, yeah. Are all Dark Justiciars undead, or are these actual corpses of a Dark Justiciars? Do you have to die to become a Dark Justiciar? I don't know enough about the lore for this. And, what the heck? Uh, oh. Oh wow, you get a lot of these uh, little, uh, uh, little minion dudes. Alright, let's inspect you, see what you have. Radi radiant Retort. Whenever you take Radiant Damage, reflect it back to your- oh. Twofold. Oh my, okay, we shouldn't do that then. Uh, which is interesting, because I would have assumed that Radiant Retort without reading it meant every time you hit it, you take Radiant Damage, but on the other hand, that wouldn't make sense for a Dark Justice here, would it? Anyway, Dark Vision, Extra Attack, Living Shadow, uh, Resistance when Obscured, Opportunity Attack, Shard Sight can't be blinded, and Sunlight Sensitivity means you are not going to enjoy Light of Luthander, assuming? All right, and what the heck are you? Umbral Terror. Dark Invaders use Umbral... Oh, Umbral Tremors. Did I say Umbral Terror? Uh, umbral Tremors to travel to the Material Plane. What? Dark... Oh, right, because he came through this thing. Oh, so another one's going to come through each one of these. Oh, interesting. Okay, then that begs the question. Do these guys offer XP? Because if they offer XP, we should allow them to come through. All right, Astarian, you're moving first. You're probably not going to kill this guy, but it's a possibility. All right, moving up close and fire away one. And fire away two. Wait, check your XP. Uh, you were at five, six, five, five. Yeah, but yeah, we gained 60 XP. Fantastic. Well, we'll let the others come through then. I assume that if you destroy this, no more can come, but those guys, but the, uh, uh, the undead guys were like, oh, they found me. If I'm correct on this. I don't care, what if these things just damage us? You know what, let's, 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 let's leave them around, let's see if they do anything over the end turn. And if they don't get, you can cast Blade Ward just in case. And you know what? Why not cast your second wind as well? We're probably gonna rest after this fight, because we haven't rested in absolute ages. Just heal yourself a little bit. Keep yourself topped up. And turn. Oh, you guys are probably gonna destroy them. No, they're not attacking them. Alright, well, we'll see what they do. Wallach, come here. And I don't think you can cast anything of significance. And that would help you. The darkness thing would not be helpful. Alright, just, just, just end your turn, I guess. And Lysel go here. At the very least, this way everybody's in position. You do your second one as well, just in case. It's not like you're using your bonus action on anything right now. There you go, enjoy. End turn. Alright, let's see what happens. 
I'm also quite curious to see whether uh, uh, whether more. All right, and ow, he came up right beside us. Uh, it's just the same kind of dudes. I was hoping for something a little bit heavier. Ooh, hello, Justicier Soul Hunter. A radiant retort living shack. Yeah, I gotta remember not to use uh, the Auto Hearts uh, radiant thing. Uh, who's moving first? The Starian. I'm gonna have to move you away so that we uh, are close. There you go. And fire on this guy, I guess. Oh, don't give him more of hate, that's for sure. And a one, and a two. And, oh, you gotta be kidding me, he's still alive. Go offhand melee stab him. No, I was fully expecting that to miss, and yes, we still do get XP. All right, we means I'm not touching these things until uh, we take that XP. Plus, I assume that's more loot, so why not? Mark of Putrefaction. Mark of Putrefaction? That's some kind of... Necrotic Hunter's Mark, marked by the dead vulnerable to necrotic damage. Interesting. I wonder if we have something similar that we can get. Or if Necromancers get something similar. Anyway, Shadowheart, you can, I guess, fire. We could also bless. We have we have enough spell slots for one single bless. Now, this could be a potentially long fight, so why not? One, two, and if I could target Distarian. I mean, he's out of sight. I'm looking at him right there. No, he's right there. Dude. What are you talking about? Are you unable to bless him because he's invisible? Wait, that can't possibly be the case, can it? You should know where he is, you're in his party. Huh, yeah, I guess you can't bless when your allies are invisible. Man, I did not know that. That's very interesting. Huh, go figure. Alright, well I guess we're just attacking then. Alright, range attack one. Uh, don't use your radiant strike. And range attack two. Critical miss, but hardly relevant, or it doesn't really matter, is what I mean to say, in turn. Alright, these guys are gonna do damage. I do wonder whether they can leech XP as well or not. And I hope not. Alrighty, Wallach, you can take care of this guy. Recast your hex on the user. And melee attack, away you go. No time for mercy. And don't react, kill him again, he'll die. And then back up to the group afterwards. Alright, now we blind our allies, but, you know, that's fine. Alright, and you return like so. Alright, let's go. I want to try that Hunter's Mark. I don't even know if Hunter's Mark works with thrown weapons, now that I think about it. Uh, Alright, so you're going to go here. You're going to cast Hunter's Mark on you. There, that's up. Then... You do have, presumably, recast on Dresden, or it'll pop up, hopefully. And then you're going to throw that lightning jabber. At the center. Oh, you gotta be kidding. There we go. Like no so. Alright, then I want to see... I'm sorry, did that just do 49 damage? Alright, 12, 23, 9, 8, Tavern Brawler, 4... Okay, there's an additional instance, and presumably the additional instance is from the Hunter's Mark, which indicates that it does work. Alright, throw it at another guy. That seems buggy to me. I, it can't possibly... It doesn't seem like intended behavior, does it? This mirror doesn't seem odd. And see, this one without the Hunter's Mark did four instances, all of which were very, very little compared. I think we just rolled really high. Yeah, it seems like we just rolled really high. 12 lightning damage, 3, 23 versus 8, 9 versus 6, 8 versus 1, and then a bonus 4, presumably, from the Hunter's Mark, so... No, wait. Well, yeah, Hunter's Mark is 1d6. Yeah, interesting, if nothing else. Uh, you can return to your position. Kind of like that. I'm the crab claws growing on me. End turn. Well, we could also use our... Uh, our additional stuff. But I'm not gonna get it. Ow! Yeah, plus they keep appearing right beside us. I wonder how long they'll keep coming for him. But as long as they keep giving us XP, it'll work for me. Uh, Styrian, I would like you to move, and I would like you to not kill this guy, but... Yeah, don't get invisible this time. Alright, go here. And... range attack on you, sir. Okay, you're gonna go invisible again, ain't you? Oh, whatever. Ah, one HP. Uh, we can have somebody else like Shadowheart kill you off. 
Let's do that. At least this way we'll get Bless, even though it's not looking like we super needed, to be honest. Alright. And, oh, I didn't even realize we were standing right on top of this thing. These things don't, like, explode and kill us or something, do they? Because <laughs> Lazelle's, like, inside one. And not in a good way. In turn. Alright, let's see. Just as your marksman, reconstituted marksman, and... Oh, we still do get the XP, even though our allies killed them. Well, that's great. Not being sarcastic is genuinely great. Uh, you can bless everybody with your last spell slot of the rest. Like so. Oh, very nice, very nice. And I guess you do a little mini attack on... Who's the nearest enemy? Not you. I can't have lost sight of them. Oh, there's one over here. Path is interrupted. Do that. Oh, I expect you to move closer. Uh, don't Divine Strike Radiant, please. Just stay near Wallach. And turn. Oh, there's another one over here. I, I honestly can't tell exactly what they're doing. They're not really attacking us, just sort of going for our uh, going for our friends. Oh, undead friends. All right, you're over here, you're over here, and there are three of them over there. I don't want to move Wallach all that way, though, so I guess we're going to have to do an Eldritch Blast. And uh, let's do a Hex on you, I guess. And, oh, presumably they're actually... They don't care about necrotic damage, do they? Because they're undead? Or do they? Done. Oh, they still take necrotic damage. Okay, so we're fine. End turn. And they're gonna move. I wonder if we get XP if the... Uh, if our skeleton allies die. Like, if we get any... No, didn't seem so. Well, that's a crying shame. Oh, I could have probably done a control undead. And, oh wow, there's a lot of these things now. Alright, well, keep going. Uh, you can reapply on... I'm gonna say this guy, because he has the most HP. Hurry up, please. And chuck the crab claw. Can't reach destination. Did you try walking closer? Like so. Chuck the crab claw, please. 44 HP. Alright, yeah, that did. Actually, it did about 29 damage, which was roughly equivalent to the average damage that we've been dealing with the. Uh, uh, with the pike, it's been doing about 25 to 30 damage per hit, and that was a critical miss. But it still did a little bit of lightning damage. I do like the fact that it does a little bit of damage even when it misses, though. Can't say I don't appreciate Okay, well, I'm gonna destroy this thing because it bothers me. Oh, deep umbral terror versus regular umbral terror. Oh, I wonder if something big is gonna come through that. I feel like we should slowly, slightly move away. Alright, next turn. So what if some big old something explodes out of there? Also, I would imagine that there's not an infinite number of these guys. They're getting wrecked by the Skelly Boys, too. Ah, there's another one. And I take it another one. Oh, here's another question. Do these things disappear? And if they do... Oh, wow, yeah, I got more of these guys. Uh... <laughs> I was wondering, if those things disappear, would we still get XP from them? Or do we get the XP from destroying them at all? It's another question. Alright, well, anyway. Uh, Sturian. Get this thing. Right, I should probably go after one of the ones that's badly damaged already, like you. Target is not too far, just get a little bit closer. There you go. And, oh! Can't actually... Hmm. Well, like so. You gotta be kidding me. He's got one HP again, that's twice in a row in one fight game. I know what you're doing, I see it, <laughs> I don't appreciate it. Uh, you can attack that Umbral Terror. I want to see if we get XP from them. Because if they disappear, we probably should kill them. Or the XP, if they give it. Alright, move here, and turn. Oh, there was one over there as well. Should pay attention to you. All right, Shadowheart, I want you to kill this thing. I want to see the XP. So, you are at 5970. Attack. And attack again. That did not seem... No, they don't give XP, but they do keep serving us foes. And I think Wallach appreciates that, and so do I, for that matter. All right, go right here and turn. Skelly Boy's going to keep moving. 
I honestly can't exactly or can't quite tell what the goal of the uh, of these guys is supposed to be. They're kind of just don't seem to be doing much. Hmm. Path interrupted, eh? Uh, we could try to jump up here. I'm gonna hope that we, if we jump up here, we won't be too far from everybody. Now, but you know what? Everybody's gonna move. I don't like that. I think we have to stay here. Alright, Wallet, can you fire on anybody? You can fire on this guy. You can not quite fire on this guy, apparently. I'm trying to get an angle, but no. Oh, maybe. Wait. You can move a little bit, I'm sure. Go here. And try this. Wait, wait. There you go. All right, and then return. Lazel, you still have the aura? No. Uh, Wallach? No. There you go. And turn. All right, now it's their turn. Let's see what they do about the skellies. Well, they are not doing a very good job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and of course, as I say that, they uh, get wrecked. Ooh. I wonder. If we oh, we can loot the skellies though. Oh, fantastic. We can kill enemies, let allow the... since the skellies are friendly. Well, I guess if it is Balthazar, and... It is, by the looks of it, there's a decent chance we would have fought the skellies anyway. Ah, which means this way we are deprived of the XP for them. Hmm. Oh well. Uh... We want to check stuff out. Let's take this one. Which also probably maybe a little bit closer, like so, and go for it. Lightning jabber right there. 44 HP. And down to 12. Yeah, roughly left for the same 32 damage. Not much more than usual. Do it again. Still expecting something a little bit bigger and scarier to come through. End turn. There's four of them here. I am really curious at this point whether they just keep coming forever. And ah, uh, ah, uh, what do we have here? There we go, Dirt Justicier Crusader, that's what we wanted to see. And we got a lot of regular Justicier, okay, work. Okay, that's a lot of them actually. <laughs> Guys, I mean, I I may have made a mistake with this. Uh, that's a lot of enemies. Okay, well, let's uh, let's get to work on him, actually. Oh, I noticed that the Great Umbral Terror, the bigger one, closed. All right. Oh, this guy looks cool, though. Let's see what he does. Uh, still Radiant Retort. Anything else interesting? Shars Sight Opportunity Attack. No, seems the same. It's just bigger and presumably angrier. All right, well. I really strongly feel that Wallach would have... Try to keep the... Uh, oh, wow, 195. Uh, try to keep that thing open just so that he could fight these things. Uh, should we use maybe our bonuses now? Now that there's a million enemies on the field? Might be time for some bardic inspirations. Yeah, all right. Let's do flashing, slashing flourish range. I say flashing flourish. I mean, there's a bard. All right, and do it again. Nice, and that's about half its HP. Go action surge. Fire again. And fire again. Ah, it is gonna move, though. We won't be able to kill it before it does, so somebody's gonna take a hit. And do your turn. Now what you gonna do? Subsume shadow. Umbral form. What does that, what does that do? What did you do? I wanna... Okay, relax for one second. Umbral form. On a hit, the affected entity deals an additional 1 to 8 necrotic damage. It is immune to non-magical damage and can make an additional melee attack each turn. It cannot cast spells while maintaining this form. It is immune to non-magical damage. This... Huh. So, is this... Huh, well, I guess we're about to find out. Wait. Does it still do Radiant Retort? Yeah, it does. All right, I guess I want to try a couple of things. First of all, just fire at it, and I want to see if this does anything. Ah, oh, well, your first attack is force anyway. Do this one. No, but it's still... Our weapons are magical, so it doesn't matter. All right, don't, don't react. It's still dead. End turn. And... Oh, looks like he got one. Nice. Did we get XP for that? I'm just going to assume that we did. Uh, Wallach, it's your turn, finally. Reapply Hex, and two hits and this thing will die. And hit it. Nice, and 9 HP remaining. Don't react, because you'll kill yourself. 
Alright, nice 280 XP for that big boy. Mm, beautiful. Alrighty, and Wallach, stay where you are. Now it's these five's turn. They're not landing a lot of hits. I really shouldn't have said that, because we're this guy's gonna land some big hit now. No. No? Alright, we're fine. Balthazar's minions not so fine, but they're acting as a meat shield. I also love the fact that we're kind of in the center of the room here. Uh, use your... protection doesn't really matter. Ow! Maybe I should have used shield after all. Okay. Uh, lays out. This is your turn once more. Reapply Hunter's Mark on you. I guess the Hunter of Mark thing is working. And chuck the lightning jabber. In my best interest. Right. Huh. Okay, that time it killed him in one hit, 49 damage. And it wasn't a crit. I guess a bunch of decently high rolls. Alright, well, that's just swell. Uh, that means we won't be able to reapply the Hunter's Mark, and none of them are sufficiently hurt or really hurt at all, so... Just pick one and chuck him at it. Nah, a lot less damage that time. Oh, I should have just used the... What are you- oh, I thought he was trying to run out the door and do something. So really don't understand what the, uh, uh, what the lever did. Oh, I wonder if we can talk to the rats after this one. Hmm. Did I see, like, uh, somebody say something behind this door? I thought I saw a line. And are they attacking us now? Yeah, looks like they're moving forward. With the last of the remaining skelly boys. Looks like we got a few more coming. Hopefully there's another big one on the way. Okay, hey, on the bright side, at least this has given us a nice fight. Alright, and it looks like we got one more. The rest of these are Justicier Avengers and Justicier Soul Hunters. Alright, well, I'm expecting great loot. Well, actually, they will probably all have the same equipment, but, you know, I'm expecting some loot. <laughs> I'm gonna be so salty if they have nothing. Uh, attack. And a one. And a two. Oh, okay, that's the third one HP now game. That's the third one in one fight. Thank you. But I still don't appreciate the 1 HP thing. Uh, go right here. And end your turn. Shadowheart, uh, this one's hurt, so you can try this one. I'm damaging it. Whether it works remains to be seen. Yeah. Alright. The Radiant Retort is particularly annoying for Shadowheart, as she does bonus Radiant damage with her Divine Strike, and don't react. End turn. Our last friendly reconstituted marksman. Athletics failed. Aw, he tried to push him. Why would you move to get an opportunity attack on you? Hey. Alright, Wallach. Uh, go after this one. Right here. X. And strike. One. And a two. Hmm. It's making me think we're a little bit too reliant on Radiant damage, since Wallach's Smites and Shadowheart's Divine Strikes are both of that variety. Alright, we're gonna start to get surrounded now a little bit. They haven't really done anything much damage-wise. You shield, please. Don't, uh, don't react. Very nice. Alright, there goes the last Skelly Boy. <laughs> How? <laughs> Alright, all the misses with Wallach laughing every time is, uh, it's tickling me. Uh, Nightweaver. What is a Nightweaver? It sounds like you're special in some way compared to the regular ones. Soul Hunter, there's a bunch of Soul Hunters and Avengers, but there's only one Nightweaver, so I'm gonna kill you. Just judging by the fact that you have a different name makes you seem more dangerous. Am I right? Uh... What? Darkness? Weird. Huh. Wait a second. Are you telling me we can't chuck... Ath interrupted. Or this little tiny cloud of darkness presumably coming out of the corpse of that guy? Wait, are you in the darkness? I'm, I'm very confused right now. You're not blind. Move here. Can you now do it? Ath is interrupted. What? It's because of this little tiny cloud of darkness. All right, fine. I guess we're attacking you, despite the uh, despite the thing. All right, I should have just moved you away. Whatever. Throw one. 
throw two will kill you. And you know what? And now we're gonna action surge then. Might as well do it here. And then move away from the dark. Let's say move to this I'm side of Wallach. And now check your thing at this thing. There you go. Taking position. And oh, you gotta be kidding me, critical miss. <laughs> Well, let's hope that this kills it. And 32 damage, nice. Very nice indeed. Alright, stay here and turn. Let's see about the rest of these guys and the last of the Umbral Tremors, not Terrors. Alright, uh, Starion, it is your turn once more. You're going to range it, uh, kind of... This guy's too close. Alright, move away a little bit. Move away and fire away. These are all the same varieties, right? She'll also execute you. Eh, we can have Shadowheart do it. Go. One. And two. And move on in and hopefully don't get attacked by this guy, but we'll see. Oh, very nice. That's really working out. The little bonus attack that we've been getting from the dual wielding. And then your turn. Shadowheart, try to execute this one. Oh, Shadow Heart, no. Yep, two misses. Girl, come on now. Alright, well, I guess you can't move either because this guy will bonk you if you do. Alright, just stay there then. And turn so Wallach to zero turn then. X right here. And bonk away. Don't react, and bonk away again. This guy's dead at least, but. <laughs> this bugs me. End turn. Although, to be fair, considering the amount of times that the enemy has missed so far. Compared to us, but we do have a reasonably decent AC. Oh, looks like you got a hit in. It wasn't much of a hit, but it was a hit. Alright, there we go. Lazelle, it is your turn once more. Let's go for a reapply Hunter's Mark. Should probably go after the range guys. The melee guys will probably close with us. Anyway. I like to not move too much. Let's go you. And move a little bit closer. So that you're not too far when you chuck your lightning jabber. Still disadvantage because of the dark, yeah. We could actually move even closer and then allow our weapons to light the enemy up, but I kind of like the middle position that we're currently in, so I'm just going to keep it up. And then you can go right here. I, You're not in the darkness again, are you? No, you're just in the aura. You're fine. And, huh. Was that there or does it... No, yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, there it is. That's the last one, and it's gone. It's just another Avenger, which I'm fine with. Alrighty, Astarian, I'd like you to start killing off the range guys with a little bit of distance on us. Alright, go for it. One. And... Wow, that was a very low roll. That was a very low roll, too. Hmm. And disappointing, Astarian. Tremendously disappointing. I was just double checking if I didn't re-equip his bow or something, but uh, uh, or unequip it and put a different one in. All right, you're gonna end your turn here. Well, I guess you can do your little mini offhand attack on this guy. Yep. And that one was a critical hit. <laughs> uh, all right, you Shadowheart, try killing that guy that you failed to kill a bunch of times. Oh, I did not mean to run you so far. Well, in her defense, she succeeded. So. Uh, I don't want you to move any further, so just attack this thing. Okay, failed that one, but it's okay. Uh, move close to Wallach again. And, ah, you're out of his aura. But he can move now, so it doesn't matter. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Or can he? Well, after killing this guy. Alright, hex you up, my friend. And bonk away one, and bonk away two. Alright. And move here. Fill in the middle of the aura, everybody. Yeah, looks like it. Fantastic. And turn. And then there were seven. They're starting to run low on Justiciers. I really do feel that they missed the ball a little bit on not having Shadowheart make more comments about what we're doing here. You know, fighting many of these guys. And she generally doesn't seem to react too much to all the shar shenanigans throughout the uh, throughout this entire act, which feels bizarre. 
Especially since she's like one of the uh, I don't know, protagonists of the game, as it were. Anyway, uh, reply hunters mark to you, Lazo. They're probably saving it for the uh, the rest of the quest. As in her whatever quest, her personal quest. There we go, down you go, and then move back to Wallach. I think like Shadowheart should be in the middle of the formation because she has protection, but anyway. Now, are you melee? Yes, you are. And you are what, a cleric or a paladin, Avenger? Sounds paladin-y to me. Uh, you are going to have get Wallach attack, yeah. Reapply Hex. All right here. And attack. Nice. And nice twice. Nice indeed. Alrighty. And go right here in the middle of everybody again and end your turn. Astarian. Can you fire over this little banister thing? Uh, fire this one. Go for it. <laughs> Alright, Astarian, you're not succeeding as much today. Wow, why did you do so little damage? Presumably these guys are slashing. Oh, wow, they are resistant to pretty much everything. Damn. That's nice. This isn't 12 damage. Oh, while heavily obscure. Oh, we just need to get closer to them. Yeah, okay, that one's my bad. It's not a Starion. It's me being an idiot. That explains everything. I should have known. All right, fine. Cancel on turn. Uh, Wallach, I'm going to move you here. I'll catch a break. All right, there goes Living Shadow with Starion. You're going to walk a little bit closer right here. On my way. And if the others have to approach us as well, then they do. Oh, this kind of leaves Lazel. Well, too bad, Lazel. Sorry. <laughs> too late. It's been done. Uh, why did you say it? Oh, because you moved through the blind, but only briefly. All right, now I would like you to attack this one. Don't react and attack it again. I go. All right. Well, not so much. There you go. But good enough. And you can end your turn. Blood comes easy these and Wallach, days. you can end your turn. Lazel, you're about to get attacked by a bunch of enemies. A shield, please. All right, teensy bit of damage. A shield on you as well. And shields are working if nothing else. And oh my lord. Alrighty, and you're hitting. Okay, you're fine. Alright, Lazel. We should go and kill you, but these guys should probably be killed first, and we'll allow the enemy to close with us. You're gonna go here. You're going to recast on the one that's the least hurt, which is you. A heck of a fight, if nothing else. It's funny, this is kind of what I wanted from the Moonrise Towers with all the guards there. All of them to attack us at once, rather than, like, you know five at a time. So this is really working for me. I love it. All right, Asterion, you're a little bit too close, bud. Move away and fire away. One and a two. Hey, I completely forgot about that living shadow thing, which is, uh, yeah, my bad, definitely. And then Asterion, I guess you can start moving close over here. You know what? Frankly, they... Huh. I wonder if they can reach us from here. Guess we're about to find out. Actually, you know what? Asterion, you're invisible right now. Cancel on turn. Start getting closer to that. That one. By yourself. Let's finish this. And then Shadowheart, I'd like you... I don't know, move here. And we'll move Wallach up there as well. And Wallach. To push my luck again. Once again, we're leaving Lazel, but... Meh. Uh, she'll be fine. Alright, Wallach, looks like you won't be able to reach these guys. Alright, just move in and we'll do a little bit of range damage then. Assuming that you can actually fire at them. Yes, you can, so hex them up. A real nice strength. It won't do much damage because there's still that living shadow thing to contend with, but it's fine. Yeah, actually, not horrible. 15. Alrighty, and Shadowheart, you do the same, please. Minus the hex, obviously. Don't react. I miss being able to add the additional radiant damage and don't react then turn. Alright, you're gonna fire on one of these two or Lazel? Not Lazel, but it's fine. She'll be okay, and she can recast shield as needed. Do you want to hellish rebuke? Nah, no, you're fine. Oh, it's not like we're wasting them on. Well, we're using them on smites right now. 
Man, all those misses. Alrighty, and Lazel, I would like you to get closer. Hopefully this lights the enemy up enough. I also have Living Shed. Oh, right, because you... Wait. Uh, reapply Hunter's Mark to you. But check the returning pike instead, because it has light on it. I forgot to redo light. For a weapon. And like so. Ah. <laughs> Alright, that works. And oh, in fact... Yeah, I should have been using the throwing pike from the start in this battle because it can just cancel out Living Shadow. Fascinating. Alright, well, either way. Uh, can you reach either one of these two? I don't think so. I think you're too far. Just a little bit. Yeah. Alright, it's all good. Uh, stay where you are because you can move no further. Alright, Astarian, you also no longer need to go over there. Wallach, so I would like you to close the distance, so you're going to... Can we run this way? Yeah, we got another step forward. And, oh, did he lose concentration? Or... No, this guy still has Hex on him. Alright, well, you die now. Well, I guess you were done dead, so you're already dead, but you know what I mean. And reapply Hex to you. Bonk away. Alright, and we got one more. Astarian, can you reach that guy from where you were? Feels like it's a little bit too far, huh? I'm not sure that you can actually shoot through a wall. Okay, okay, it's fine. Alright, Shadowheart, move on up there, and... Uh, yeah, just go range attack. You know what? Go up here. A little bit closer. I don't know if that'll affect it in any way, but just do it. And that appears to have been a miss. And that... What the heck? Ah. Uh, nothing's happening. Odd. Okay, well, Wallach can just bonk him. Or Lazel can chuck her spear thing. If she can... Well, let's find out. Like, not enough movement. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, path is still interrupted. All right, fine. And turn Wallach, please. <laughs> this one guy. And, oh my lord. All right, Wallach. Oh, it's because he's in darkness, presumably. That no, doesn't matter now. Hey, there we go. And, oh my lord. That's a big boy. Huh? Oh, okay. I thought that... I thought that was going to attack us. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, it is Balthazar, and he has a friend. You didn't send the big boy out to help us. Rude. I consider that rude. Anyway, loot everything. And, oh, you gotta be kidding me. They have no loot. Ah, but the Skelly Boys do. All right. Okay, well, unfortunate about the, uh, the Soul Hunter of the Dark Justiciers, rather, but whatever. All good. Maybe the big one has something. And, hey, XP is its own reward. Or XP is a reward. You know what I mean. It's not its own reward, but it is a reward. And fighting is its own reward. This is Wallach we're talking about here. Alright, also let's ungroup everybody so that they stop following us. And yes, I'm still going to try to loot every single one of them. And, huh, that one had an incense stick. Oh, they should at least drop incense, since it's still worth the decent stuff. Ah, nothing on the Crusader. Oh well. We'll loot everything we can get here. And reconstituted marksman. We're probably gonna run out of space after this. What's that? Oh, it's just light. Which it shouldn't which there shouldn't be all that much of an Ashara location. Sharon. Location. Alright, who have we not looted yet? Okay, that's pretty much everything. Wait. Oh, just to see Avenger has a little thank of you. Not that it had anything, and you too. And we'll talk to this guy in a second, and... Oh, maybe before we talk to him, we may want to rest. On the other hand, we're not in that bad of a situation. How scary are you? 236 HP, but you're alone. Uh, ghoul medics. You got 118 HP. <laughs> maybe. Uh, go for the Gilded Chest. I'm just checking if there's anything else to be looting outside of the room. Because there very well could be. While we're out in this room, anyway. But I'm seeing nothing. Just an altar, some ah, books. So much knowledge in books, and yet there's very little ever to be found in these rows of books. Occasionally a scroll. Alright, I think that's it. Alright, oh, we'll take the silver chalice as well. And ah, the incense, which does not appear when you spam all. 
we'll take the incense. And... If bank, probably not worth a lot, but we'll take it nonetheless. Alright, let's talk to you, sir. Probably should... now. Nah, okay. We're already here, I don't want a long rest. Uh... You gonna, you gonna talk? Yeah. Finally, oh my. we can talk face to face. Not face just is a strong any word. true soul would have succeeded in following my path through this place. You should be pleased. Warlock. Well, I'm not just a true soul to have some... Well, no, I mean, we only did the warlock thing because... Uh, for class purposes, essentially. Not so much because I wanted Wallach to be a warlock, so I'm gonna ignore this. Uh, unless it's like a, you know, something that would make sense for him. Anyway, who are you? I felt a battle right under your nose. Whoever you are, some help would have been useful. Mmm, no. Uh, true soul, bold of you to assume I'm a comrade. Okay, well, we'll start with who are you? Oh, no, we'll start with Trey. That's what we'll start with. Uh, okay, he seems to have a bunch of reagents, and no, that's it. All right, where are you? You are a true soul. There is no excuse for you to not recognize your betters. Why are you hiding in here, then? Your potential may outweigh your needs. I am Balthazar. Chief Advisor to General Thorne, and entrusted with a mission of utmost importance. Do you know what is at stake here? Enlighten me. Judging by how you're cower cowering in here... Yeah, exactly, exactly, Wallach. That was my first reaction as well. Uh, the name Balthazar seems vaguely familiar, but from where? Hmm, I mean, we could try, but it's probably unlikely we'd succeed at the check, and then these options might disappear if we did. Although, then again, they might not. Let's give it a try. Why not? Uh, guidance, go. Twelve, no dice. Oh, well. I'm not using inspiration on this. Uh, enlighten me <laughs> your survival. I do not cower. Plan. I command. I create. General Horn trusts me. He knows I will deliver. He knows I will stand by him long after all others wilt and fall. You and all the rest have only one body with which to serve. I have as many as I care to make. But they're all at 18 HP. That's not going to be that helpful. As you mentioned, serving Catherine, he sent you to find a relic now. Oh, yes, pump him for information. Uh, I mean, considering I completely failed in that mark uh, with uh, Disciple Zorel, since we just killed her and got nothing out of her with regards to the quest. Well, let's say he sent you to find a relic. Act like we know what we're talking about. General form to you. But yes, recovering the relic is the crux of it. He commands and I, his humble servant, fulfill that command. While you and infinitely more no, fulfill my I will put you to work as a scout. This necromancer has Catherick's trust. Helping him could be just what you need to gain access to the man himself. Hmm. Warlock like persuasion, I'm not the type to make a deal without details. What exactly am I looking for? So you need my help. What would you have to do? All right, so this doesn't seem like it's related to any kind of patron and this is i do feel like something that's worth asking see if we can't get more information out of this manner Let's see this and oh we have advantage as well and guidance we got a 24 on that one Let's see what he's got to say for himself Fine, if it will spare me your bleating the relic lends the general his strength his invulnerability it must be the cover before his enemies attempt to exploit it. All right, well, we already figured that out when we inspected uh, Catherick at the top of Moonrise. Uh, you need my help sounds like your problem, not mine. I do. Uh, I think I'd rather exploit this relic after I've gotten rid of you. Oh, so we could attack... I mean, we can always kill him later, can't we? Hmm, or can we? Well, here's the thing. I guess if we get to the no point of no return, as you guys have been saying, and we haven't killed him, we can come back and kill him. 
Because what if he disappears at that point? That would be great. But that would be odd. Well, either way. Uh, I'm tempted to say this sounds like a you problem. Uh, I wonder what he'd say if we did that, though. You need my... Well, let's try. You need my help. Ugh. Honestly, I feel like this sounds like your problem, not mine, is more of Wallach's natural reaction, so I'm gonna go with that, see what he this says. This is not a problem. It is an opportunity. And it is not a choice, either. You will obey. Is he... I'm confused. Is he threatening us when he just saw us kill things that he was too scared to come out and fight? I... And now he has much less soldiers. <laughs> I'm a little confused. Anyway, uh, fine, I'll see what I can do. There's always a choice. I can let you live or not. I'm gonna have to go with this. Once again, I try to avoid avoiding fights with the intimidation stuff, but it just feels appropriate for Wallet. Ooh. Let's see what he says. It's a failure. Well, we might be in a fight now. You will obey. Once you are reborn as one of my creations. And, oh, he's gonna attack us. Okay, well, I guess I should have long rested. <laughs> well, oh. And, hello. What do we have here? Concentration broken hex, not a big deal. And a little bit of damage. And a critical miss on that one. Ray of sickness, and we got big boy. Alright, well, you know what? That seemed on character, so it's fine. Ah, the... Um fortunate aspect of this is we no longer have Bless available, so we'll be a little bit weaker in this fight. You can go for Blade Ward for yourself there, Shadowheart. And we may have to get ready to pop a, uh, uh, pop a Preserve Life if we start taking a lot of damage from Big Boy there. Then we will want to use I guess attacks. Okay, wait. These guys don't have the retort thing I assume. Aversion of Fire. If they take fire damage, it receives a disadvantage in attack rolls and ability checks until the end of its next turn. Fascinating. Berserk. We'll go Berserk if its health diminishes. Immutable form. Spells that alter some form can. We're not going to alter its form, so that's fine. Uh, wait. I saw it was immune to something. Poison and lightning. Okay, what about you? You are hastened with a lot of bonuses. Two to armor class, advantage on dex throws, and movement speed doubled. Undead Ward, affected entity is resistant to bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing damage. Undead Ward Aura. Un Allied Undead are resistant to a lot of blood damage types. We should probably kill him before he can do that. Hmm. Alright, nothing else seems to be particularly uh, considerable. Anyway, he's also too far from the ghoul, so we should probably clear them out. And begin on the ghoul's shadow heart. Go for ghoul medic. And go for Divine Strike Radiant, a little bit of extra damage, and your turn, Astarian. And go for... I wish I had long rested once again, but oh well. Let's just hope it's not problematic. And do it again. And down you go, bud. And you are now... Well, hmm. I'm wondering... Go here. I want to maybe take the high ground and then attack from up there. And turn. This guy's real brave to do this, I gotta say, considering what he just saw. And attack you, please, or do that, and then we will chuck the lightning jabber at you, sir. Alright, nice. Nearly 40 damage, and chuck the lightning jabber again. Alright, down goes another. And then I guess you can move closer to Wallach and Shadowheart, like so, and I believe we're good. Claws and Lazel, nothing. Wallach, uh, you want to hex this guy? I want you to hex this guy. Lots of fighting today, if nothing else. Which is great. Uh, do you want to use... How many do we have left? I think we'll save him for Big Boy. Because we want a long rest afterwards. Hey, it's more XP. And don't react. Oh, this guy will live. Yeah, but with a tiny amount of HP, we can just kill him after. Actually, I have to wonder whether this guy will just raise them again. Well, I guess we'll find out. End turn. Let's see what Big Boy can do. I like how his name is just Flesh. And, hey, 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 where are you going? And... Cloud Kill. What do we have here? Oh! Oh, well, he just raised another... Uh, another thing. I don't know what that did. But it doesn't like the concentrated... Okay, so it's something we don't want to stand in. Is it a concentration? Yes, it is a concentration. And Shadowheart got hurt. Alright, Shadowheart, start with Preserve Life. 
It doesn't seem to obscure, so we can still use this and heal everybody up nicely. And everybody's at full HP, damn. You gotta love that. Alrighty. Even if you take massive amounts of damage, you can just out heal it. You, Astarian, I want up here. Hopefully you'll get a slight advantage after going after this guy. Yes, indeed. And start shooting him. Too bad we don't have Bless, but it's okay. And a one. And a two. Concentration saving throw still successful, though. Alright, Astarian, stay there. Who's up after you? The ghoul medic. This ghoul medic? Yeah. Alright, Shadowheart, we probably want you to move out of that place. And... Can you down the ghoul medic, maybe? I doubt it, though. Oh. This other ghoul medic is very low HP. Down that one, then. And you didn't mess. Good job. And I believe that's all you can do right now, so let's move you around here. So that Wallet can attack you. Lazel, I would like you to go here. And then I would like you to go for reapply Huntress Mark. I guess we're going after Balthazar now. I still find it very curious that he <laughs> decided to attack us here. But I guess Lazel did the same. I guess I'm not great with negotiating with these guys. Damn, this guy is succeeding at every single concentration saving throw. Look at that. Look at that, he just succeeded like 10 in a row. <laughs> You're doing a good job of nothing else. And, oh, you're locked in combat with Flesh, but if we take the hit, we might be able to kill Balthazar. Might be worth it. Take the hit. Uh, shield below. Save Bash, unfortunately, but more importantly, we can get close to Balthy Boy and then reapply Hex to you. And strike him down. Divine Smite too. You think striking down my body will be the end of me? Oh, oh! Even if we kill him here, he'll come back. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There we go. Bleeding the corpse dry. Wallach is inspired. All right. Now we have Big Boy Flesh and more inspiration. Journal info. Oh no! <laughs> this is gonna be a Zarel situation, isn't it? We defeated the Necromancer Balthazar, failing to assist him in his mission to retrieve a relic. The relic is clearly important for the Absolute. Finding it ourselves may help us against the cult. Yeah, my bad. My bad. <laughs> complete the Gauntlet of Shar to enter the Temple's Inner Sanctum. We must complete the Gauntlet of Shar. Trials made for her elite soldiers, the Dark Justiciers. They didn't seem that elite, though I guess that was merely their corpses. And find the Night Song. Retrieve the Night Song from the Gauntlet of Shar. We found a plaque, a plaque that claims the Night Song is in the Temple of Shar. All right, well, that's all the quests we have that are not complete, that got updated. Anyway, let's continue. You want to bonk away, my friend? Or do we re-engage with the big boy here? I guess we just re-engage him. Yeah, go for it. We're going to long rest after this. Oh, we need not enough movement. Oh, we just, just don't have enough movement. All right, fine. Bonk this thing then. <laughs> Level one Divine Smite. <laughs> We'll kill it. The auras are still up, and end your turn. All right, big boy's gonna go after Lazel, and he's gonna fail. All right, who's up next? Shadowheart, Astarian. Who wants to go first? Uh, let's have Wallach Bonk and Hex, and do what he does. Reapply Hex, please. I don't like so. And move here because I doubt we'll kill him in a single turn. Divine Smite level 2? Well, actually, if we keep doing damage like that, we might. Nice bonk, nice bonk. Wallach just did a very nice amount of damage, about a third of his HP. And Divine Strike Radiant, please. And a 1. And a 2. Well, this guy's obviously gonna go Berserk after this turn, but, well, probably not for long. Astarian, Brace. Just add additional damage, and... This doesn't count as high ground, but will this? Hey. Yes. One, and again. Nice, nice. And turn. Oh, I guess he had the little mini attack, but whatever. Uh, reapply Hunter's Mark to you. And chuck your Lightning Jabber. Very nice, very nice. And, oh! Okay, there's him being upset at this whole situation. Be a little bad. Oh, I should have tried control undead. Wait. 
Flesh Golem. Construct. Does this count as undead? Are we able to use control undead on you? I'd love to have one of these guys as a pet. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Seems like uh, oh, the NPCs get all the uh, cool uh, necro stuff. And outright, oh, somebody also said to keep Balthazar's body. I don't know why, though. Oh, I have it on a post-it note. Does his body do anything? Commander of the Reborn dead. Oh, is it maybe because he said he'd come back, so the body... Huh. Alright, anyway. Multi attack on Wallach. Ooh, 15 damage going through the... Uh, going through the thing. Concentration broken. You're trying to move somewhere. Alright. You know what? Shadowheart, you never get to finish these guys off. There you go. And, hey, you got a inspiration. Why did you get an inspiration? Yeah, do heart. Where are you? What was that one? Acolyte? Tipping the scales. Earn the worship of the... Uh, I don't remember which one it was. Moonweaver's prayer. Final rest. Kill all of Balthazar's undead. Those for whom the bell tolled. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that worked. All right. Not as bad as it could have. And somebody's got on him. And a circle of bones. Undead ward allied undead within six meters are resistant to bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing damage and gives you animate dead. Ah. Huh. I wonder. Does this animate dead, can you just do it and then unequip it? I think it must be a medium or small corpse. I am curious to find out. I don't like that, that it's a helmet, though. Because I... Wouldn't put it on Wallach, let's say. Hmm. Mm, what, is the, what the heck is this? Summon Golem Bell. Summons Balthazar's Flesh Golem during combat. This item is only functional in the golem. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> he's a little... Uh, <laughs> he's a little melted. And Soul Cage Research. Soul Cage? Hey, Corpse Roses. We needed those for Thistlebald's Brood of Belly Glummer. What could we possibly use this for, though? It never said what we could use this for. Zero, single use, man. Hmm. Yeah, I can't figure out what we could use that for. It didn't update any quests. Well, either way. Oh, he just had like a regular little dagger. Anyway, but I assume we'll meet him again since he's uh, immortal and whatnot. Or the necromance or whatever. Crude form of immortality. I would like to try... If we do this... Undead Ward or a... If we do this and anime dead, say, zombie, skeleton? I don't know, does it really matter? Oh. Oh, because he was undead. Oh, nobody in... We can't raise anybody in here, can we? Well, that's a shame. All right, well, then we'll undo that for a bit. But we might be able to get a free Zombo constantly by just having this on us, so... I uh, wouldn't turn that down. Alright, let's loot everything. Carrion Crawler Tentacle. It's also the Carrion Crawler Tentacle. Thanks. Man, we ransacked this guy's office. Broken Moon Lantern. Uh, ransacked this guy's office. That pixie. And then we... Uh, <laughs> and we came in here. Ruined his plan. Killed him. This guy hated us. Probably temporarily killed him, but, you know, killed him nonetheless. Probably isn't happy with us or anything. And mirror. The mirrors here seem to not reflect light, but devour it. Kind of an interesting concept. The, the dark mirror thing. Uh, rustic chest. And, oh, I almost missed that. Oh, damn, that was a hidden chest, wasn't it? Well, it was for me, anyway. If, uh, if we hadn't had light on us, I really wouldn't have spotted that. Also, Wallach just done un ungroup everybody. Uh, stained towel. There's an urn up here that we can reach. Another urn that we can with more bones. Last time we had about 150 bones, and that's 150 gold worth of bones in one of our, uh, or in our inventory. One that I sold between the episodes. Anyway, jump up here. I take it this thing isn't trapped. And now uh, it doesn't have much in it, so I guess even if we did miss it, it, uh, it barely had anything. Alright, heavy chest up here. This one also had barely anything. Yeah, this Balthazar guy didn't have much. Another one of these uh, dark me, mirrors. Even after everything. Still me, even after everything. How can you see yourself in the dark mirror? <laughs> I don't know why I find this funny. 
Well, at least he sleeps like a vampire. Alrighty, let's uh, let's let's continue. There's a knife. No, it's a nothing. Ah, ah, no incense bowl. Although I guess if it's an empty incense bowl, there's nothing in it, and away we go. Yes. Hmm. Did I read his book? Soul Cage Research. Read. Rambling notes in a spidery, jagged hand fill the volume. They speak of a soul cage, binding the life force of one to that of another. A crude drawing shows two figures side by side. The one on the left appears to have a dagger protruding from its chest, while the one on the right has a corresponding wound in its own chest. That seems important, in the sense that I feel like it probably... Uh... Hmm... Probably relates to something, or maybe it's a clue as to something later. But I'm not sure what. Well, either way, just checking if there's any other items that were important here, and it doesn't look like it. In fact, you know what we'll do? We'll uh, grab all of these items, and we'll pop them into one of the bag from the bags of bags. One of the bags from the bag bag, you know what I mean. Alright, in you go. Including the water, we have like 50 of them. I doubt we need more. At least at the current time, and you go. And we'll sell you up, and then this will be organizing. Alright. Lots of fighting today, which is uh, lovely. Uh, we have a vault door here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Now it goes through another room. Uh, did we get a key? We did not get a key. Hmm? Starion, you are a key. Oh, for a skeleton key. Right, 30 difficulty class. Oh my. Okay, this better be good. 25. All right, looks like we're gonna have to try, try again, and not inspiration. Hey, at least our inspirations are maxed out. Ah, yeah, there we go. That wasn't so bad. Only two attempts. What do we have in here? I see three opulent chests and nothing else. Wallach, by yourself. All right, nothing exploded. Let's see what's in here. A callous glow ring. The wearer deals an additional two points of damage against the creatures that are illuminated. Fantastic. It's basically a free two damage forever. Uh, Wallach, I guess you're losing the ring of free action for now. We'll give that to somebody else. Currently, as you are using the Light of Lathander, you are 100% guaranteed to always be hitting an enemy that is illuminated. I assume that it works, right? Lathander's light sheds holy light in a six meter radius. Fiends and undead standing in the light are blinded. But does it count as illuminated in the way that light does? I do wonder. Well, you know what? We'll check the combat log when he attacks next. Another infernal iron, a crystalline lens, and some other stuff. So I take it the infernal iron is no, no longer any use to us? Hmm. Teachings of Lost Endless Dark. I think we've read this one. Breathe in and out, look inward. What in the deepest reaches of yourself do you see? A bright and blinding light, a harsh and exacting sun, or instead do you find a comforting velvet darkness? A womb-like place where all you are exactly as you are can find repose. This is the darkness Sharp promises, a darkness free from judgment, free from scrutiny, in which we are invited to exist in our purest essence, our most essential selves. Yeah, but doesn't she, like, force her followers to go and kill a bunch of people? So what if you're... It, the central self is just like a peaceful dude. One of them. And then I guess, uh, well, the thing we read in Kethrick's diary suggested that Shar's darkness didn't allow him to escape from the death of his loved ones, so... Yeah. Shadowheart, anything to say about any of this? No? Alright. Alright, and I guess who? I like these purple lights. The decor is nice, if nothing else. All right, I guess we keep going. Man, that one little room took a while, didn't it? And, oh, we also got to remember... Well, I couldn't figure out what was going on over here, but uh, this is still, like, a central area that we haven't gone down to. Oh, it's going to be a long trek back down this place. Hmm. And the map looks bizarre here. Might have missed something. Oh, and we got to remember the rats. Uh, you know what, we're relatively close to the rats, I just want to try them again in case they react to any of that. We'll try one of the rats. Unworthy of Dark Cloak. No. Oh. Strange little beast. I would have made short work of it once. Huh. Oh, did I... Huh. Astarian didn't react to it before, but... Mm, okay. Away we go. 
once again, I might come back and try threatening them later. I just... I just don't think it's in character for Wallach. I guess if it really bothers me, I could select one of the other characters and have one of them threaten the rats. Alright. And away we go. Oh. I accidentally clicked the door. Do we have anything here? A torch. A torch that's already burning. That's quite curious. Uh, oh my. Hanging corpse. A very gory idea of art. Huh. Interesting. There's a brazier. I'm just checking if anything's clickable or puzzly in here. And I see something. Rat. And, oh, more rats. Oh, maybe there are rats in other places that we can talk to. I guess we'll try these rats as well, though. Brazier. Ah, waypoint. Oh, fantastic. And this is fantastic. Well, let's try this rat first. This is the path of heroes. We've already heard that one. And what about you? I'm still inclined to be polite to the rats. What about you? Two legs. Too familiar. Nah, it'd be funny if it was two, as in, you know, the number two familiar. Anyway, uh, try the plex. Brave the gauntlet of Lady Shah. Test body, mind, and spirit with her trials. Glory awaits the few who succeed. Wait, is the gauntlet down here? Oh, up to now it hasn't been the gauntlet yet? Ah. Okay. Oh my, this place is big. Damn. Oh, I like that. That's a nice statue. And yeah, looks like there's a lot to do in here. This is going to take at least a couple of episodes then. Judging by the looks of it, we are not heading down there yet. There is a side path here. We should also long rest because we're out of everything now. All the spell slots, anything I can think of. All right, before we do though, let's briefly return. Now, this is the Gauntlet of Shar to last slide in. As you guys have pointed out in the comments, we've missed one set of teethlings back here. Alright, the Crying Lady. Really appreciate that one because the incompletion... Ooh, free pitchfork. Uh, incompletion of that quest was, uh, was bugging me. Uh, while Wallach is running, all of this can go into the backpack. And I guess so can you, Gold Chalice and Jade and whatnot. Not the simple toxin. Yeah, you too. We good now? You're all right. My gods, you're all right. Come here, darling. Smile. They look so happy. Uh, I don't like how that's italicized. It's gonna kill them both, isn't he? <laughs> Oh, I don't trust you, Dark Urge. Don't get too comfortable. We won't be here safe for long. A beautiful sight and all thanks to me. I don't like any of these. Wait, trade? Trade? An apple? No. Reminds me of Auntie Ethel. I guess third two? I'm kind of ruined. Well, this is just rude. We won't be safe here for long, I guess. Maybe not. But we have each other now. We have... This moment, now. Thanks to you. So, shall we go for a walk? I want a divorce. Anywhere, my love. Hey, there we go. Now it's completed. Fantastic. Alrighty, and yes, I don't see it anymore. Beautiful. Now that won't bother me anymore either. Watch them just die. Ox. Oh, right, the ox. Ah, huh, did that strange ox ever do anything? I don't think so. I tried talking to it, it was like, you're... It was kind of like the rats, wasn't it? It was kind of like you're unworthy or something along those lines. Anyway, uh, let's see. You know what? I think, I know this is going to make it a little bit of a shorter episode than previously, but maybe this is a decent place to call. No, I mean, we do still have decent amounts of time. Now, nah, but I'll just do another episode uh, sooner. I think I'm just going to call the episode here because we have to go back to camp and... Uh, and do all of this stuff again. And that's going to take like five to ten minutes and I'd rather do that off screen so I don't waste the time. And yeah, I could make a cut, but I'll just call the episode here. We'll proceed with the Gauntlet of Shar and next time around. Plus, it was a lot of fighting this time. And we'll see what else is in here next time as well. Uh, you guys tell me... Well, now that 
he's... Well, unless there's spoilers about anything that could happen in this run. Uh, what would have happened if I did not... Uh, Kill Zarel and Balthazar. <laughs> Just didn't want to cooperate with any of them. It worked with uh, it, it worked with Wallach's character, but uh, yeah. Hmm. I, I'm, I just, I'm just constantly hoping I didn't accidentally lock myself out of a lot of content, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, more Wallach and more Dark Urge times to come, so stay tuned. Don't forget to leave a like and comment. All glory to the algorithm. And thanks for watching.